Uh, press live. I'm not. I know, but people can also hear you, so shush. Martinos! I'm <laughs> too scared. You're not scared. What time is it? Five two. You start. I guess people are trying to see the notifications and check in. Little Elsie, baby, if we could just get you away from the tripod, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, it's still a bit skewy, isn't it? That probably is just me. We got so far. I see Macaulay. I see Sensei Martin. Yeah, don't forget to sign in, guys. Please. I can have you. Be Be Still got a few minutes. Hey, Joe!
Hey, Michelle, hi, Kaya. Still got a couple of minutes. Right, so the plan for today is to um, build a dynamic variation of Nick Arjo. So Nick Arjo done uh, in different Geoazza moves. Uh, we have six different Nikajo based dynamic techniques and each one we're going to be building up move by move. Um, it's going to be fairly rapid fire but we are going to be spending enough time on each chunk for you to be able to get a rough handle on it. Plus a lot of the stuff ends up being repeated uh, so even if you're not quite going to polish the beginning by the end you should have a better idea of what's going on. Uh, as always we're not going to be looking at uh, fine detail because uh, I haven't got another person's wrist to show you how all the locks work. Uh, we're looking at gross motor function, just getting moving, and especially today we're going to be getting sweaty. So make sure you've got some, hi sensei, make sure you've got some water, and try to create the largest safe area possible for training. Um, obviously, I'd be surprised if any of you have a living room like this. Uh, if you do, please invite me around. Uh, but do your best to make sure you've got enough safe space. Uh, so again, if you've not already done so, do sign in. If you've already signed in, sign in again anyway in case we missed you. Um, and if you're watching this back later, so when it's not live, um, don't sign in in the comments because we won't see it afterwards. Uh, shoot us a message, uh, a message on Messenger and we can put you on the class that way as well. Okay? Okay, so by now you should have noticed a pattern in most of my classes. Uh, we're going to be using an interval timer to make sure that we don't um, run over and we can do enough practice on each thing. Um, we'll be looking at each element of the movement in a one minute chunk, one minute going slowly and working through, and then we'll combine pieces into a rapid 30 second chunk to really push ourselves. Okay, so it'll be one minute low, half a minute high and we'll be alternating through the entire lesson, okay? Okay, so. First technique, the first movement is the standard Nikajo done from the inside of the strike. So your Shite, so Uke, could be coming at you with Shomenski, Shomenuchi, Yokomenuchi, Kate, Yunorate, any of the front, um, front quarter dynamic attacks, this is the standard template for a Nikajo Nage, a Nikajo throw. Okay, I'll show you the complete thing and then we'll get to building it in steps. So here from right Kamai, there will be a pivot, raise and shuffle across, cross that through to throw into Zanshin posture. So relatively short and sweet, but again this is going to be our template and we're going to be using this one quite a lot. Okay, let's get ready. Okay, so first Chunk is the pivot and take. So right foot forwards, you're going to do a pivot and take with your right hand the attack that's coming at you. So if you imagine a punch coming towards your midriff, you're going to get out of the way of that and grab hold of it with your right hand. That's the first move. Okay, so right foot forwards, copying along. Pivot and take the punch. Don't do the left side. We don't do left side in dynamic, okay? So the right hand is coming towards you. Get out of the way and take. If it's a straight uh, strike, you would block and then take. If it's a yoker and diagonal, you would block and take. So it's still the same body movement, okay? So pivot around and take like so, okay? A few more goes of that. We'll see how we're doing on the timer. 10 seconds. So pivot and take. That's our opening move. The second movement will be a raise to get ready to apply the Nikaj. If you watch me from the side, here's the pivot and take the attack. Then we're going to raise our hand up because we've got their hand. We're lifting it up to eye height and we're just adjusting slightly. That was not so important. Who's talking to us? Hey, Siri. So right foot forwards, pass the pivot, and then from here, lift and adjust slightly. That's the second move. Make sure I'm getting that right. Yeah, okay. 
So from your block, this hand goes from low to high. So nice and slow, there's your pivot, grab, raise up. So the, the angle I'm moving at is so that I will be looking at the person doing the punch. So nice and slow, there's your pivot, grab, raise up. Okay, now we're going to drill that quite fast. Okay, go. Pivot, grab, raise, move across. Both hands at eye height. Reset, can I? Pivot, grab, raise and move across to eye height. And reset. Pivot, grab, across and raise to eye height. Make sure you're copying, make sure you're joining in. Pivot, grab, raise to eye line. And then stop there. Again, reset. Pivot, grab, across and raise. Okay, the third and final part is the, um, the execution. Execute, that's dramatic. So from here, we're then going to apply the technique. So you've got the hands nice and high, we've got the wrist locked, there's a little shuffle forwards and the hands go from high to chest. Standard Kamai height, funny that. So the next movement is to go from up here to here. My hands are in contact similar to if I were holding a sword. So they're touching here, okay? Keeps it simple that way, but they can stay in reference. So from high, little shuffle to low. So that's the next move. Practice that a few times. Go from high, little shuffle forwards, and cut down. This is your chance to have a breather before we go back to high intensity. Don't waste it. So high, forwards, and cut down. That's the next stage of movement. Okay, get ready. Pivot, grab. Lift, cut down and shuffle forward. Reset. Pivot, grab. Lift, shuffle and cut. And reset. Pivot, grab. Lift and shuffle, shuffle and cut. Reset. Pivot, lift and shuffle, shuffle and cut. Keep going. Pivot, grab. Lift, shuffle across, shuffle in and cut down. You're going from eyes to chest height. Okay. So now you cut down, we've got to get rid of them, okay? So we're going to lift them back or let them back up and throw them. So from here, right foot forward, hands low. We go high again, across and through. So right foot and hands low. Lift to eyes, across and through, hit that zanshin posture. If by now you're not sure what Zanshin posture is, get on the online dojo, find the folder Kamai and Basics, and watch the Zanshin videos. So low, lift, across, through. Slow and steady, that's the final part of this technique that we're going to put it all together. So hands go from low, high, across, this one grabs the imaginary elbow, and through. Okay, we're going to string them all together, get ready. Okay, pivot, grab, shuffle and lift, shuffle and cut, lift, out, through, throw, zanshin, reset. Pivot and grab, lift and shuffle, shuffle and cut down, lift and back up, out and through. Let's go a bit faster now. Pivot, apply, throw. And again, get moving, get sweaty. If you've got no space, you can do it small. Okay, so that's the first technique, the first one of six. We're going to do six of these. Second technique, um, I didn't know this one existed until a few years ago when I saw Sensei Ken do it and it was awesome. It's an alternative Nikajo from the outside. This one works the easiest from a front punch. I'm actually going to use Sensei Bob to show you, to give you some context. The Nikajo that we've just done would see you moving to the inside and using this hand to bring it across and cranking the Nikajo. That's fairly standard. This one will see us moving to the same arm, but we're going to the outside. We take like this and then we apply the Nikajo. Okay, so that's detail, but this is going to give you some context. So as they're coming towards us, whether it's a punch, shaman, or yogman, we're going. 
to the side that the other arm is attacking us. Okay? Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. If not, don't worry about it. Just copy the movement, detail and finesse will come later when we can get back on the mat. Okay, let's get ready. Flip. Round two. Okay, so the first movement of move two, again, is a pivot and take. But instead of going this way, start left foot forwards, and we're going to spin clockwise. And we're going to grab with both hands, like we're holding onto a really, really small handlebar. Okay, so left foot forwards, pivot clockwise and grab. And again, clockwise and grab. This one has grabbed their hand. This one has grabbed their wrist. So hand and wrist. Again, left foot forwards. There's your pivot to the other side. And grab. And a few more times, nice and slow. Pivot and grab. Keep doing that. You've got 10 more seconds to practice this one. Left forwards. Pivot and grab. Grabbing the hand, grabbing the wrist. Okay, the second movement of this um, is to then apply and throw, so it's really fast. So once we move to the outside and we've grabbed, we then bend and push down. That's the application, okay? So we've got our hands like this, copying with me. Bend, push down. All happy with that? Again, so hands on, bend and push down. Now they're on the floor, we're going to throw them, step back. Shift and kneel, and the hands kind of do a little bit of a rainbow. Okay, so here, left foot forwards, bend and down, backwards and shift. Again, left foot forwards, bend, down, backwards, shift. Left foot again, bend, down, back and shift. Slow and steady. We're going to get faster in a second. Literally five seconds. Bend and down. Backwards and shift. Okay, left foot forwards, pivot, grab, bend and down, back and shift, down to the floor. Left foot forwards again. Pivot, grab, bend, down, back and shift. Pivot, grab, bend and down, backwards and shift. It's a really awesome throw, this one. Grab, bend and down, backwards and shift. Keep going. Pivot, grab, bend the wrist, apply it, step back and shift. Good, okay. Hey Liz! Okay, so that's the second movement. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine move number one and move number two for another 30 second burst. Okay, so get ready for that one. So starting right foot forward, we're gonna go through it slowly once all together. Pivot to the inside and grab. Up, down, up, and throw, that's number one, number two, to the outside and grab, put them down, back up, and throw. We're going to do those two together non-stop for 30 seconds. Okay, get ready, right foot forwards, and go. Inside, grab, lift and down, lift and throw, hit the zanjin, now you've got your left foot forwards. Outside, grab, bend, backwards, shift and throw. Right foot forwards again. Inside, grab, lift and cut, lift and throw. Left foot forwards, out and grab, down, back, shift, throw. We've got time for one more round. Inside, grab, lift and cut, up, out, throw. Outside, grab, put them down, backwards, shift and down. Okay. Third move now, third move. Third move is an alternative throw from the standard meet. So rather than throwing on um, our outside, their inside, which produces a nice controlled forwards roll from Kluke, we're going to flip them using a Nikajo Kokinage combination. So we'll have the standard meet, where we're going to go to the inside, lift, cut down, and lift back up again. That much we've done before. Okay, so that's the first stage. Again, make sure you're copying along. Don't make me the only person getting sweaty. 
Round three, where are you? There you are. Okay, so we're going to revise the standard meet. So right foot forward, pivot and grab, lift, across, apply, and lift. And that's where we'll carry on from there. So we're going to do that one again. Pivot, grab, across and lift, down, and lift back up again. This formed the standard template for lots of chains from the car jump. You can pretty much chain any technique from Nick Arjo because of how much time it gives you and the way the Uke's wrist is set up, it just mirrors so many other techniques. And we'll have a look at another popular one later. 10 more seconds of this just to revise. Pivot and grab across, cut down, back up again. Again, make sure you're copying along. Okay, so that's your opening move. All right, now we're gonna have a look at the thing that makes it different. So you've lifted the hand back up again. So right foot forward, right hand up. Last time, we went to our right and then forwards. This time, we're gonna to go to our left. We're gonna cut a circle around them. So my front foot is gonna make a crescent moon around the imaginary person, the sticky mats here and around. My right hand is gonna go from high to low at the same time, and this would cause my uke to flip if I do it right. So, We've got high here, copying along, around and down. Copy with me. Right foot forwards, right hand up, around and down to my left. There's more de a lot more detail on that, but this will do. From here, so we're not going to go this way, we're going to go this way, around and down. In a second, we're going to combine those two bits. So here, around and down. Get ready. Right foot forwards. Standard opening, pivot, grab, lift, cut down, lift, another new part, around and down. This is the Zanshin posture for this one. Reset, pivot, grab, lift, cut down, lift again, around the side and take that knee. Again, get on the cross so you can see. Pivot and grab, lift, apply, lift again to your left, around and take a knee, back straight. So that's movement three. Now we're going to combine movement one, movement two, movement three into one sequence. Um, we're going to go through it just twice because I think time's going to run away from me. I actually think we might not finish this. So here, copy slowly. Move one. Inside, grab, lift, apply, lift, off to your right and throw. Now left foot forward. Pivot clockwise, grab two hands. Cut down, step back, shift and kneel. Back to right foot. On the inside again, lift, apply, lift, and now off to your left and down. Okay, ready? You're gonna get nice and fast. Go! Inside, lift, cut down, lift, out and throw. Left foot, outside, cut down, backwards, shift and throw. Right foot again, inside, lift, cut down, and around the outside, and throw. I'm confused. Outside, grab, cut down, step back and shift. Inside, up, down, off to the other side, because I got muddled. So that's three movements. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, fourth move, we may have to sacrifice the sixth move. We'll see how we're going, okay? Uh, apologies if we do, because it's a doozy. So. We've looked at some front attacks, or the templates for front attacks. Now we're going to have a look at the templates for the rear attacks. The Yushiro um, Ryote, or Hiji or Kata, or the different um, Jiyawaza, where the attack is considered to come from behind. So if I were the Uke, it would be my job to try to end up going behind my partner and holding both of his wrists, or both of his shoulders, depending on the name Jiyawaza. We're going to assume it's Reote, double wrist grab. We're not going to be looking at Uke's partner, so you need a bit of context. Should you do? Yeah, okay. So the whole thing together should look like this. I block, I step forward and bait, I step backwards and take, I apply, and then it's 
the standard or the non-standard throw. So that's what we're going to be building up. Okay, round four. Okay, so slowly, block with the right, step forwards and raise with the left. That's just the first step. Let's do that again. Block with the right. They've now grabbed this hand, they're going behind us. We step forwards with the left, raise the left, so that they keep moving to try and get it. Block, step and raise. Copy me, let me be your mirror image. Block, step and raise. Don't do this. I used to do this. It's wrong. You get shouted at. Keep your hands in front of you. At best, shoulder width is acceptable. Not this. This is I surrender. Block. Forwards. And back again. Block. Forwards. And back. A few more goes. Block. And step forwards. That's the first step. Second step is to then move backwards underneath their grabbing arm. So just trust me. Lock, forwards and raise, and then go backwards again, ducking underneath slightly and then grab the imaginary Nick Arjun movement. So here, again, that sword-ish grip here, okay? So we've blocked, we've gone forwards, now we go backwards and grab. Copying on nice and slow. There's the block. Here's the bait. Back underneath and grab. A few more seconds left here, so nice and slow block. Forwards, backwards, and take. Block, forwards, backwards, and take. The angles are completely subjective to what your rookie is doing, so don't worry too much. So we're going to combine those two. Get ready. Block, bait, retreat, take. Block, bait, retreat, and take. Block, bait, retreat, and take. Keep going. Block, there's the bait, retreat to the knee, take their wrist. Block, there's the bait, and go forwards. And then we're going backwards here. It's forwards and backwards. It's really simple. Forwards, backwards. Don't you hate when people say it's really simple? Okay, so we've gone forwards and backwards, now we've got the Nick Arjo, now we're going to apply the Nick Arjo, okay? So from here, the application is the same. Apply and throw, okay? Whatever feels easiest for you. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good, okay. So high, it's up to you, but I would say go high, apply it, lift them back up again, and keep it simple, go back to the first one, so out and through. If you want to do the second one, you can do the second one, it's up to you, I'm not there to shout at you. So, you've got the Nicardio, apply it, lift them, and then throw them. That's the next and final movement that we're going to do. So here, cut them down, lift back up again, out, and through. Standard Nicardio Naga. Here, cut them down, pick them back up again, off to the side, and through. Ready for the high intensity, get going. Block. Bait, under, take, low, high, out, throw. Block, and bait, back underneath, and take, cut down, lift up, out, and throw. Keep going, block, and bait, underneath, apply, and I'm going to go the outside because why not? And again, block, and bait, underneath, take down, up, out, throw. Okay, that's move from four. How are we all doing? Okay, move five. So, just like the first time, we looked at um, an alternate version of uh, Nikajo from the front. We're going to look at an alternate version of Nikajo from the back now, okay? Um, yeah, time. Uh, so, this one's a lot faster, and I really like this one. The one we've just done, forwards and back, underneath and cut down, that's the standard template for so many other techniques that 
um, it doesn't allow you to always show off knowledge and ability. So that's why the alternate techniques exist, or why we allow them, because it, gets, it allows the student to showcase what they can actually do under pressure. So the footwork for this one is actually ludicrously simple. Same block, but instead of stepping forwards to bait them past us, we're going to pivot to keep up with them. From here, we then push down, and then we throw them in any way which makes sense. Okay, so that, I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, what have I got for you guys? Yeah, that one, okay. Whew. Round five. Okay, so nice and slow first. I'll go from the side, block, pivot, and both hands are up. No worries. Block and pivot. And again, block and pivot. If everything's going a bit too fast for you, don't worry. It's really difficult to do this through this medium. If you're doing anything, you're doing good, okay? And ultimately, as long as you're getting sweaty, block and pivot. As long as you're getting sweaty, you're doing something right. So again, Here's the block with your right, pivot around, and both hands are high at this stage. So again, nice and slow, block, and pivot. So that's the first step. Second step is to then do the um, application and throw. So from hands high, copy me, cut down, and then you can do any throw you want. So you can go out the side and through, go around the other way and down. We're gonna do a retreating throw, so here, we're going to do a little shuffle back and shift and drop. Uh, it's a really nice Udagrami variant, which I love. So here, down, backwards and down to one knee. Here, hands high, down, backwards and down to one knee. Ignore the hands, we're looking at the footwork and the bodywork. So here, hands come down and we go a little retreat backwards and we shift and take a knee. And again, here, hands up high, down, retreat backwards, and then shift and take a knee. Okay, now we're gonna combine those. Block and pivot, hands are high, hands go low, then backwards and shift. Block, pivot and take, cut down, step back and shift, not step back. Block, pivot, down, Backwards and shift. Block, pivot, down, backwards and shift. Block, pivot, down, backwards and shift. Keep going. Okay. So we've only got time left to do one big combo. So we're going to do number one, two, three, four, and five all together. I'm repeating myself, but if you forget what you're doing, do something here. If you repeat the same one five times, that is brilliant. Okay, so we're going to do it slowly through first, and then all as rapid as we can. So number one, right foot. Inside and take, raise, apply, raise. Out and through. That's number one. Number two, clockwise and double take. Apply, backwards and shift. That's number two. Number three, same as number one, inside and up, down and up. But we're going to go to our left and down. That's number three. Number four, Block, bait, under, take, down, up, and then throw. And then number five, block, and pivot, down, and shift for the throw. We're gonna do that through at least two times. I'm gonna keep on doing it basically until that minute hand hits the six. Okay, get ready, number one. Inside, lift, cut, 
down, lift, out and throw, left foot, outside and grab, take, retreat, shift to throw, right foot, inside and grab, lift, apply, lift, other side, down and throw, right foot, block, bait, backwards, grab, down, lift, out and throw, number five, block, pivot, apply, retreat and throw, again, all the way through, inside, grab, lift, apply, lift, out, throw, left, outside, grab, bend and apply, retreat and shift, right foot again, inside, grab, up and down, up to the other side this time, here, you shear up, block, forwards and bait, forwards and back, apply, lift, out and throw, last one, block, pivot, apply and retreat and throw. Ah. Okay, uh, sorry we didn't get to do the sixth one, uh, but time got away from me. That was technically a 20 minute lesson plan, but I knew that waffle would get in the way. So, sorry guys, that was my bad. Um, if you kept up even 30% of that, you did a good job. Uh, if you could do all five uh, with my loosey-goosey explanations, you did a really good job. Don't allow um, the lack of detail to bog you down. It's a really horrible uh, pitfall to find when you start to realize that you're missing detail. When you know enough to know what you don't know, uh, you can get trapped in your own head going, well, what am I doing it right? Just shut up, okay? It's, it's really easy to do, I know, but don't get in your own way. All you can do right now, unless you've got a partner who you're working with who is better than you, all you can do right now is keep moving. You will learn loads doing this, I guarantee it, but it's not gonna be the epiphany, fine detail stuff. You're just gonna learn how to move. And that is, honestly, that's like 75, 80% of what we actually need right now. Just get moving, okay? When we get back on the mat, then we can look at the detail, then we can start to get our heads around how does the technique work, okay? So, thank you, well done, and we'll see you again soon. Awesome.